All right, so in this video, I want to talk a little bit about the transaction log. So SQL Server has two basic files, right? It has a data file, which is called a .mdf, which actually stands for a Microsoft data file, and a .ldf, which is log data file. There is also an NDF, and that is a secondary data file. I don't know why they didn't call it SDF, secondary data file, instead of N, but they actually use the N because it follows M. Interesting. All right, so let's talk about the architecture of a transaction log. So here's the, uh, the clinical definition. Uh, the SQL Server transaction log operates as logically as a transaction log as a single string of records. Okay, well, yeah, that's, that's okay. Now let's take a, a kind of a different look. The transaction log is like a, a stream of consciousness. So in this picture, we're going to pretend that I'm that, that guy thinking right now. And there I have, uh, I'm, I'm working, and the transaction log is a little blue line over here to the right-hand side. And I've got SP who has pulled up, and you can see their little screen print of that, and I'm thinking about that because I'm watching the, the spids come through. And that is written uh, to the transaction log. So right now we're pretending that my stream of consciousness is being written down somewhere. And in this case, it's being written down to the transaction log. So I'm sitting at my desk and hot secretary comes by. So the hot secretary comes by, completely throws me off track, and I'm paying attention to her. So I write out hot secretary thoughts to the yellow block there, still in the transaction log. And we won't go into what's in the yellow block. So the next thing, um, she leaves, and I'm back to thinking about SP who is active, watching the spits come through, looking for blocking, um, trying to resolve an issue. So we have, it's interesting to note that I was thinking of SP who is active, hot secretary, and then back to SP who is active. And you notice there's no grouping there, right? There's no, there's no area down at the bottom or up at the top for SP who is active and down at the bottom for hot secretary. Right. It really is just like a stream of what's going on in the database right now. So, let's talk a little bit further about the file. The, the file is broken up into sections or chunks called virtual log files. And here we have a whole bunch of virtual log files starting with the, the one, the green one, that is the active VLF. So why do they do this? Well, it allows for the log management system it's easier to manage smaller chunks than it would be one large file. So they, they break it down for manageability. So whenever a log file is created, we get a certain number of VLFs. And there's actually, uh, it's beyond the, the scope of this demonstration, but there is actually uh, kind of this uh, chart to go by that'll tell you, you know, when you create a transaction log or a database this size, you, you get this many VLFs and so forth. Again, beyond the scope, but I want you to know that. So we've got an active transaction log, and we've got one active and four inactive. All right. So the active VLF is where the log files are being stored. All right, well, that kind of makes sense. All right, that was, should be an easy one. So in, the, in each VLF, there's an AK header page, uh, much like a, a data page, right? Uh, that's the start of every transaction in the log file. So what's the header store? You know, metadata, size, autogrow settings. So inside the VLFs is further broken down, right, into log blocks. And each of these log blocks is between 512 and 60K. And it's interesting, the 60K is quite interesting. Actually, this, the majority of this is taken from Paul Randall's course on Pluralsight. And I really want you to, uh, if you really want to deep dive into the logging process in SQL Server, you need to watch Randall's course on Pluralsight because the guy is just fantastic. He, he's, he's got little insights that are, that are just you know, incredible into SQL Server that no one else has because he's worked on the product for so long. Worked. He doesn't work anymore. But interesting that he brought up that the 60K, why not... 64, why not block set? We're, we're used to seeing, right? We're not used to saying 60K blocks. So he actually said that in, in his Pluralsight course that he went to the developer and asked him, and they don't know why, that he did it for a reason, but didn't remember why. 
Uh, again, deep dive into log analysis and the transaction log on Randall's Plural Site course. All right, so moving forward, inside these log chunks, these log blocks, are the log records themselves. So notice they are variably sized log records. And you can see from my our earlier discussion there, we have the my secretary, because uh, she takes up a lot more than SP who is active, I promise, in my mind. Uh, but you can see that they're stored together. And in the next slide, we can see that uh, transactions from various locations can exist and they're, they're stored together. Now, I did want to, let's go back up one, for one second. And I did want to show you that the stream of consciousness uh, is serialized, right? So these, these transactions come in and SP who is active and then it's the stream of consciousness is in a serialized record and that's important right that's important for a lot of reasons but specifically for writing to the disk where the transaction log is housed all right because one of the things we look at when we look at contention or issues surrounding transaction logs is the write activity to those logs so if the average read and write to those transaction logs aren't up to par, then we're going to have some issues. All right, and that is our kind of high-level overview, kind of high-level architecture of what a transaction log is. And again, I want to remind you to please head to uh, Paul Randall's course. Uh, now, I don't get any money from Paul. I, <laughs> I know him, but I don't. I, he's done a lot for my career. So if you want to deep dive into a lot of these things, especially a lot of the things I blog, video blog about, then, then Randall really will, will help you out. All right. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.